The students at the Moog Hackathon this year are working with the Moog Verkstatt, which is a single analog oscillator educational synthesizer. It has all classic Moog circuits and it allows the students to take control voltage and patch them from one module to another module and change the sound. But since it's also patchable and modular and hackable, they're allowed to take any sort of outside sensor, microprocessor, or any other circuit that they can come up with to expand how the Verkstatt sounds and interacts. My name is Chris Howe. I'm a project engineer at Moog Music in Nashville, North Carolina, and we make analog synthesizers. <laughs> Only one person which we can allow um, taking a nap and going to the room. Um, I'm a professional factors, so the design part is. Uh, actually, she brought this back as a legacy product and started making it again two years ago. Okay, so are you, very, are you fairly familiar with like the synthesizers? Who knows? That? Moog Hackathon is a 48 hour competition where students from engineering, music, design are tasked with taking a Moog Verkstatt and expanding its capabilities through additional circuits, microcontrollers, or sensors. This is what Moog Hackathon is one. Give these instruments the sound that they have. This is kind of how you do it. Moog Music was started by Bob Moog in the late 50s. Uh, he started by making kit theremins and selling them in the back of magazines. Moved on to making the Moog Modular, which is the first analog synthesizer to be used on many popular records by Beatles, uh, The Who. Followed that up with the Mini Moog in the 70s, which brought the idea of modular synthesis into a compact form that musicians could take on the road, so it was more viable for people that weren't engineers or sound designers to take analog synthesizers and create new music. Where did this place come from? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. In the late 90s, Bob started Big Briar, making the Moga Poker pedals and moved into making the Mini Moog Voyager and we're still in Asheville, North Carolina today. At the end of the hackathon, students uh, present these instruments to a panel of judges and professors here at Georgia Tech, uh, and we decide what instrument has the most interesting musicality as well as interactivity and design. A major goal of the hackathon is to encourage interdepartmental collaboration between engineers and musicians to push the boundaries of what is sonically capable with analog synthesizers.
there was some talk about the, the, the societal impact of this kind of uh, uh, instrument and we wanted to recognize that. Honorable mention is group eight. For the third place with $1,000 is group two iPhone facial recognition. First place for $3,000. Competition is Team 19 with Zen. Yeah.